Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kyori and welcome back to yet another Generation Zero guide video for you all. Now, in today's one, it's not going to be very structured, but I am going to be talking to you guys about clothing and how to upgrade your clothing with uh, certain resistance. Um, for this specific video, I'm only going to be doing the bullet resistance because it's the first layer. I don't have to. Yeah, you'll understand why. All right, so basically you want to come to any crafting station. Now, if we go into the crafting station, you'll see every piece of clothing you own, but for only four categories. So the only four categories of clothing that you can actually apply any resistance to is the jacket, the shirt, the pants, and the shoes. Yeah. So no helmet, no eyes, no wristwatch, no gloves, nothing like that. Yeah. So just those four for the time being. All right. So we'll go out of there and we'll come into our schematics, um, our apparel sch in, yeah, schematics. You know what I mean? I can't English today. Yeah, so we're in schematics and we're in the apparel section of it. Now, I just want to run some things by you, some some quick math. Now, I'm not really good at maths, but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm right. If, I, if I'm not, someone can correct me in the comments. But as you guys can see, some of these are at zero, some of them at one, two, five, four, you know what I mean? Now, let's let's just run something like by you guys. So down the bottom, it says apparel schematic points found as loot when defeating rivals. Now. That just means that every time you defeat a rival, you get an apparel schematic point. Now, if you also loot different buildings, there might be a, uh, a hidden apparel schematic point in there too. Now, there's not that many of them out there, but let's just pretend they don't exist for a second. Let's pretend you can only get the schematic points from rivals. Now, let's break this down. So, <clears throat> over here, they're broken down into... Um, five categories the five crowns technically the exact same how your weapons work from one through to five crowns yeah now costs one schematic point so let's just one schematic point if equals one rival so let's just go for rivals it makes it so much easier right so to get to level one it's one rival to get to level two it's two rivals to get to level three it's four rivals to get to level four seven rivals and then to get to level five so five crown the best of the best with the 10 percent resistance it's 10 so 10 7 4 3 and 1 so that's 24 rivals you have to kill or defeat sorry to get um any any item in here to the five crown so the 10 percent bullet resistance the best of the best now let's just um this is where it gets interesting <clears throat> so 24 rivals for one little section over here. There is 23 sections, 23 by 24 or 24 by 23, however, however you want to look at it. It's the exact same. Yields 552 rivals that you have to defeat in order to unlock everything in the apparel uh, section over here. <laughs> let, let, let that just sink in for a second. 552. If anyone here can screenshot their screen and they have every single apparel section here, five out of five, mad respect because <laughs> that is dedication that is serious dedication like i don't know how easy it was to get it before they revamped all the structure of these like schematic points and stuff because i know it wasn't the same back in the day but damn <laughs> that's crazy so yeah i just just this is not easy so again if you want it's, it's not look it's not too hard like if you want to if you want blast resistance only you can just put one one schematic point in each of these sections so technically you're wasting like what four eight twelve sixteen you're wasting 16 points just to unlock the blast resistance section and then i feel sorry for any of you poor schmucks that want jump boost or fall resistance so, so yeah rip to you guys but yeah now look in my opinion for me personally how i play i don't really need noise reduction and i don't need visibility reduction I, I want to be spotted. I want to get in engagements. Now to break that down even further, I don't really need fire resistance. There's only like four different types of enemies that have fire or incendiary weapons. And I'm really not too like fussed over them. Like the firebird, easy to defeat. Um, what have you got? The apocalypse class tank and the apocalypse class hunters both have... Well, the, the tank has the incendiary bullets and the um, Apocalypse Hunter has the flamethrower. So I'll be more bothered about the, the Hunter, but they're easy to defeat. Well, 
lot easier. And then obviously the only one that I'd really be worried about for fire resistance would be the Reaper. Obviously that's a given. He's he's a beast. But I reckon for how I play, I take the most damage from bullets. And majority of the the damage in game is from bullets. So I think this is the, the right choice for me anyway. I'll, I'll just say it like that in my opinion. <laughs> Everyone can have their own, okay? Don't hate me in the comments. But yeah, so for me personally, I reckon I'm just going to stick to um, unlocking the bullet resistance uh, clothing. But yeah, so basically, as you guys can see, I've got 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5, and 2 out of 5, right? So for these two 5 out of 5s, so that basically means I have all 5 crown for the shirt and the jacket, yeah? Now, if I want to apply those, oops, sorry, I just shot for no reason. If I want to apply those to my clothing or any said clothing item, I come to my crafting station. And for instance, I only use my Phoenix clothing. Because let's face it, unless you're playing with someone, which I never do, you're never really going to see what clothing you wear anyway. And the Phoenix, um, Phoenix uh, clothing offers you like other damage buffs anyway, like bullet resistance, fire resistance, and there's other resistances offers you just naturally for equipping all of it. So if I want to equip it, equip it to the Phoenix Hunter jacket, all I had to do was I open it. And as you guys can see, we have our one to five crowns down here for bullet resistance because I have the jacket and the t-shirt all five out of five, correct? All right, now, it's simple from this point. All you have to do is go bullet resistance jacket. You buy it, you equip it. And you come back into this section, you go down to number two, you buy it, equip it, and then you go further down and you just keep doing that. You know what I mean? You just keep buying and equipping the better one up until you get to the five crown. Boom, you've got your 10% bullet resistance. Now, that's just <laughs> the good thing about the Phoenix jacket or the Phoenix clothing in general that I like is the fact that there, as you can see, there's no, there's no color options. See this ski jacket right here? I can have it in one of seven colors. This Miami suit jacket, I can have one of 14 colors. For every single piece of clothing here, and for every single color, you have to upgrade every single one of them. A good example is for my shirts over here, there's no Phoenix shirt. Well, no Phoenix shirt that I've come across anyway. So I use the Xeno Specialist shirt, yeah, in black. But as you guys can see, in red, there's no, there's no, there's no buff applied. But if I scroll over to black, boom, I'm on the right, on the right hand side, my 10% bullet resistance is there. And again, nothing for white, nothing for green. So if I want to switch up my clothing more regularly, I legitimately have to do, <laughs> you, you have to apply so many different bullet resistance, like schematics to the clothing. It's just ridiculous. So if you're smart, you'll just stick to one clothing, I reckon. Otherwise it's kind of pointless. Whew. All right. So that's it. I think if I've missed anything, please be sure to let me know down below. You guys are pretty good with um, like fact checking me on some things. Um, but yes, that's, that's basically, that's basically clothing. Um, I know a lot of people were struggling, struggling with it, including, including myself, but um, it seems pretty simple now. So I'll try and break it down. Just a little recap. So power schematics, you unlock them by killing rivals or finding the apparel schematic points in random um, random buildings or bunkers. Um, and yeah, once you've got the schematic, again, it doesn't have to be a five out of five. You can still equip a two-star bullet resistance, which gives you 5% out of a total 10 to a piece of clothing. So it's still something. Because like, for instance, now my boots don't have anything on them. So I can go into my boots, go down to Phoenix Runner Boots, view schematic, bullet resistance, craft item, craft equip. Then I go back into my Phoenix runner boots and then I go back in, I craft the level two, I equip them. Now, right now I only have level two out of two, as you guys can see. So same with my pants, my pants go down to Phoenix tank jeans. See, I only have them up to level four. So what I do is I go into bullet resistance one, I craft them, I equip them. I go back into it. Number two, go back into it. Three, I go back into it, and then number four. Now, keep in mind, the higher you go up, the more resources it uses, and the, the like, the more harder like to acquire resources. Like this one is titanium and adhesive. Adhesive is easy as to find, but titanium you mainly get from wolves. So again, they're a little bit more difficult to uh, to come by. But yeah, so look, I I really do hope that helped. Um, 
you guys understand how to um, upgrade and craft your uh, clothing items. If it didn't, I'm really sorry, but this is, like I said, it wasn't scripted, so it's just me rambling, and I hope that I hope that's not too bad. I hope you guys can follow along. Um, if not, I'll post like a full scripted, like step by step. <laughs> but um, for me, I like these kind of videos. You know what I mean? It makes the uh, I don't I don't really like being scripted. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys are enjoying. Uh, be sure be sure to check out all my other guide videos. I'll have them linked somewhere at the end. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.